what is up everybody bison here white buffalo gaming and we are coming into episode number four car mechanic simulator 2018 here's the thing we're coming into it with a brand new outlook um we're sitting at thirteen thousand two hundred seventy five dollars i did a little bit of working off camera literally not too much like two cars playing with some stuff and I am man enough to admit whenever I may have bashed something that didn't need to be bashed. <laughs> yes. um, you've heard me say, especially in the last video, I know I mentioned it at least once, uh, people uh, part picking, getting parts from the junkyard, from the barn, and then bringing them back and repairing them and sell them, selling them for money. We're going to kind of do that and kind of not. Here's the thing in your upgrades and your perks we want these okay we want these um recycle upgrades just as badly as we want faster tool upgrades <laughs> uh and here's why we have one available skill point we're going to go ahead and unlock that upgrade now I don't have any parts. Oh, I do. Oh, and a case. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't have anything we can work on. Let's go ahead and open this case while we're here. Just, just for fun. What do we got? A few parts. Looks like an exhaust pipe. Some axle and some cables. Uh, we're actually going to hold on to that stuff. We're not going to sell it. We are going to sell this junk that we can't repair. This, if you've ever worked on cars in real life, you'll understand the term consumable parts. These are parts you can't repair. I mean, you can, but, I mean, you really don't want to. They're recyclables. <laughs> or they're non-recyclables. Sorry. Um, they're junk. They're crap. You don't need them. Never going to use them. Uh, they're replaceable. However, parts like timing covers, engine blocks, headers, header covers, this is all stuff that if we have, we can bring, oh, there's a wall there, we can bring to the repair bench, and like I said, we don't have any right now, but we can try to repair it. And the higher, run over the toolbox, the higher this perk level is, the higher percentage of a chance of a successful repair you have all the way up to like 95 percent and then your next level you can repair body parts we want that most definitely but now we also want all of these because we may not be going part picking to sell parts but whenever we get to this point here for our next garage expansion we're going to have an inventory warehouse where if we get these parts and we can repair them to usable condition to 100% preferably, we can place it in the warehouse and then we don't have to buy it. So if we need to, if we do a work order and we need a part, we don't have to go to the computer and buy it. We can just run over to the warehouse where it puts the warehouse, pull it out of there, and it's, it's more money in our pocket because we don't have to spend it. Then whenever we start flipping cars, not doing full restorations, but flipping cars, we can get, you know, four five six thousand dollars here and there just by you know fixing a motor up uh, repairing a couple of body panels whatever sending it out the door whenever we do full restorations if we have those parts it's going to save us a lot of money and we can sell that car for a much larger profit you know i've seen some of the cars in this game once you get them full re fully restored go for you know, anywhere from sixty to a hundred thousand dollars so whatever you don't spend on it, you get back in profit, and that, that's the ultimate goal. And who knew all it would take was a little bit of research. <laughs> so I was wrong, and you're not going to hear that come out of my mouth a whole lot, but I was, was most definitely wrong. So I apologize for any misinformation, and any of you that were watching it, screaming at me the whole time, calling me an idiot, you were right. Is it was really dumb of me this whole time I've been playing this game for a while never really used that repair bench and uh, now I feel like an idiot but that being said we're gonna get started <laughs> and 
and try to put that in the past and never talk about it again. So this is a story car. We're going to go ahead and take the story car, make a little bit of money. Because uh, like I said, we're sitting at $13,000 right now. We need a little bit more. And we need the ex uh, the experience points. So we could start with this. Um, after today's episode, probably going to do quite a bit of off-camera grinding. Just to, just to speed up the process here. Get us a little bit more money. And um, that way we're able to do the fun stuff. Because this... I know this stuff right here, doing work orders over and over, has got to be draining just watching it over and over again. It's basically the same video over and over. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and expedite that process a little bit. Pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the story car is all suspension. So let's read it and find out. I bought this machine from a friend of mine who needed money quickly. Ooh, so you got a lemon. <laughs> He assured me that the car was fine, but he lied. But I feel it pulling to the right, and this strange smell like mushrooms? Question mark? Okay. From what I remember, he works behind a desk, not in sales. Anyway, check what's wrong with it and make it usable. You know what, bud? I've been stiffed before, and uh, I think we can help you out here. Let's utilize some of the stuff that we have unlocked, like the test bath. Um kind of a time-consuming process but it's definitely worth it so you don't have to because this there's no list provided with this car so we got to find all these parts on our own and I'm pretty sure it's mainly brakes and suspension so let's get it started if it'll even start there she goes all right let's test the front brakes out pull down the brake Ooh, front right brakes are done for. Let's pull up, hit the next set. Do our brake. And those aren't too great either. Test the front suspension out a little bit. Doesn't test all of it, but it tests some pretty, test a few components. Uh, we'll probably utilize the uh, test track after this. See if we can't find all the parts without having to search for any. That would be absolutely fantastic. And if I'm smart, I will remember to utilize our parts list and I won't have to run back and forth between the car and the computer to buy everything. So it looks like we got a bunch of rubber bushings, brake pads, more bushings. As I'll, pretty much every rubber bushing in the front end is going to be replaced. Uh, lower suspension arm on both sides. Rubber bushing, brake disc ventilated. Uh, one, two, three, three sets of brake pads at least. Uh, one, two brake calipers. All right. So I, th I feel like we found quite a few parts with that one. Uh, let's go ahead and move this back to the lifter. Shut her down. And let's check the car status, see what we have left. Three, four. So not too many parts left. We we might be able to find these on the test track. Let's get out of the way. Why? Jeez. Okay. Main gate, test track, Salem Kieran. Head on down to the test track, see if we can't discover these last few parts. If not, I'm pretty positive we'll find them whenever we start tearing it apart. I'm confident in our abilities, okay? We have a new outlook on life now. Oh man, this is not good. This is hammered to the floor, stuck in first gear. Your acceleration test is absolutely... How did you test drive this car and still buy it from that guy? Oh, man, this thing doesn't want to steer whatsoever. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. This is... I'm not sure who's worse of a person. The guy that sold this car to his friend or the idiot that bought it. 
Let's try and wreck it. Didn't work. Oh, almost worked. Come on now. Come on now. I'm not even. I have no faith in these brakes whatsoever. Good night. That was terrible. That was the worst test drive I think I've ever had in this game. Come on, load the screen. Thank you. So it looks like both the inner tie rods, both the outer tie rods, and both solid rear drive axles also need to be replaced. Let's see what we've got left. If there's just a couple of parts, I might have an idea what they are. One. So one, two, three, four. Four parts. It's a possibility that I know what they are. Just for fun, let's take this off. And then just for fun, let's put it back on because that's not that's not them at all uh like everything is brakes and suspension so let's just tear into this thing and see if we can figure it out on our own i mean we're gonna have to because we're out of options we don't have any more test pass or test track test to, to run on it so let's take the wheels off or this wheel at least all right, so that's a bad break. And yeah, there's one part we haven't discovered yet. It's calipers in terrible shape. So let's add this to the parts notes. Add this to the parts note. And the brake disc as well. Take this off. I bet there's one of the bad brake pads here. And it, I was correct. Add that, take that out, take this off, take this off. What's that bearing look like in there? Bearing doesn't look too bad. Bearing looks alright, actually. So the suspension arm. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you get crazy with it. Add that to the list. We know that has to be replaced. There's one of the rubber bushings. We're just going to buy some of those in bulk. We, we use them a lot. So buying those in bulk is actually not too terrible of an idea. Um, i tell you right now, this is also one of the pieces. Just by looking at it. This tie rod. We're just going to buy the tie rods in twos. And the steering rack. Perfect. We are... Man. Whenever you play this game the way it's supposed to be played... Things run pretty smooth. I jump on over here. Take this one off. Oh, there'll be another hubcap. Go ahead and pop that out of there. Uh, I think this caliper is okay. It's at 55%. It's not perfect by any means. Another brake pad. And we're buying these in two, so it's okay. And we've already added the steering rack. Take that out. Add another lower suspension arm. One, two, four. So there's six rubber bushings so far that need to be replaced. That's including these two here. I think we just buy 10 of them. I think it would be alright. Let's run to the rear of the car. And well, I mean, we're gonna have to disassemble it anyway because both of these solid rear drive axles need to uh, be replaced. Take that out. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't replace these brakes. I'm starting to feel like I need to. <laughs> um, you know what we're just we're not going to for now and then 
if we have to, man, we'll just come back and we'll replace it real quick. No big deal. It's a, it's a quick fix. Look around in here. This rubber bushing also bad. Go figure. Uh, jump on over to the next side. Why wouldn't you replace that? I can, oop, hang on now. Get ahead of yourself there, Bison. Brake pads are crap. Well, I guess we do have to take the disc off. Okay. Man, I've been getting a lot of IGN going live on Mixer for those Fortnite uh, World Championships, and that's... I'm about to unsubscribe to IGN if I get one more of those freaking things today. Fuel pump looks okay. It's not suspension related anyway. Okay, so we can go into inspection mode. See if there's anything red that we missed. I'm not seeing anything back here. Shoot up here. We, we, we zoomed into a terrible spot. Look around. Also not seeing anything here. So let's back out of this. Let's check the car status. Is there anything that we missed? There's not. So in theory, we should have all of our parts. Hopefully, it's just a theory. Let's 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 go to the computer, pull up our shopping list, hit the parts store, hit the suspension section, uh, skip the brakes. We need at least two. Well, we just need two of those. Work our way up from the bottom here. We don't have uppers, so. Need a steering rack, uh, two solid rear drive axles. We're just gonna buy some of these in bulk. Let's just buy ten of them. We'll have a couple left over, but I mean we're gonna end up using them anyway. Um, all that looks good. Tie rods and stuff. We're at the tie rods now. So we'll get two outers. And two inners. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I need two lower suspension arms. I said two lower suspension arms. Uh, no front wheel hubs. We need this cross member B. And as far as suspension goes. I believe that is everything. So we're gonna go to brakes and one, two, three. We need all four sets of pads. Um, two calipers. We're gonna do two calipers. We might as well do two caliper cylinders. Um, a brake disc ventilated. Make sure that's all we needed. Alright, so now we'll go and install this stuff, and if we miss anything, we'll know. <laughs> we'll see it pretty quick. So, sit up the part mount and throw on this new set of pads and a new caliper, most likely. And a wheel hook cap. And then we gotta bust in what we have to put that in first. Uh, probably throw these in while we're here. While we're thinking about it. Oh, let me get where I can see that bushing. Here we are. Screw that in. Check out this lower suspension arm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Coming together nicely. Hopefully this fixes your problems, sir. 
I mean, I can't uh, can't fix your taste in friends, but hopefully this whole ordeal has shed some light on that for you anyway. Oh, already can't do our torque pattern. Uh, let's just go to this side, see if we can guess. Okay, put that in. This other one before we forget it. Inner tie rod, outer tie rod, and lower suspension arm, all brand new bushings. And this will be where the new disc comes into play. New set of brakes for you. Now maybe you won't die when you come to a stop sign. New hubcap. Wheel. We'll move to the rear of the car, finish this car out, see how much money we got for it. And likely that may be the end of this episode. Um, like I said, probably gonna do some off camera grinding just to speed up this process because I mean it takes 30 minutes to do uh you know one or two cars, so uh, man, I really don't like putting these parts back on here. Um, I'm going to do it off camera just so we can uh, try and speed that up a little bit, get some more money, and get into the, the real nitty gritty, if you will, of this game. So I hope you're not too upset about that. I promise to make it up to you. <laughs> Whenever we start doing, you know, our own cars and stuff, um, it's so much more fun than watching me do work orders. I I can promise you that. And um, as far as the channel is concerned, you know, we're doing. Uh, I got my hands in a couple of cookie jars, so to speak, at the moment. Um, and we're talking. I do have a full time job. Uh, I have a work schedule that's two weeks on, one week off. I just so happen to be on my week off, which is why you're getting a video, at least one video a day. And whenever I go on, you know, back on my days on, it's probably not going to be the case. I knew we were going to have to change that crap out. Why? Why didn't you do it to begin with? Media. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, when I go back on my days on, I'm probably not going to be anywhere near internet, <laughs> or, or civilization for that matter. So, that's going to be a thing. It's going to be something we have to, uh, to work around right here at the beginning. And, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> it's really all we can do. Uh, so far. Uh, till we get that bug, that particular bug worked out. Um, doing the best I can. I was gonna try and get some extra stuff recorded so it could be, you know, rendered and, and put up while I was at work. However, that's, that's still a possibility. It's not completely out the window yet, but we are... We're working on it. Uh, it's the best I could say about that right now. I'm still waiting on a couple of phone calls and uh, some job information to come through. So we'll get to that that bridge hopefully, um, hopefully within the next day for me. Um, however, I do as of like right now. I have a video on my other computer, it's rendering, and it's almost finished. It's just about there. And it's going to be our first look at Green Hell. Uh, it's, it's not working on cars. <laughs> it's far from working on cars. So I highly said, I knew I bought that. I just bought another one. Spent money I didn't need to. Um, it'll be out shortly. 
I say shortly, probably in, in like the next hour or so. And it's like right now, it is four o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. So this will be this will be up before this video. Is. So hopefully you wouldn't check that out and you liked it. Um, yeah, I, I guess that's enough rambling for right now. I am awfully tired, by the way. I think that's everything. Is that everything? Thank God. Uh, what do we have in our inventory? Do we have any repairable parts I could... No, we don't. That's all consumables. Everything was pretty much... Tr Actually, I think I can work on brick calibers. <gasps> and axles. Okay. So our repair chance of success is 55%. If we click on it... Holy crap, it worked. We are at 78% now. If I click on it again, it's probably going to disappear. You know what? We're just going to click through all this stuff. There's no items to work with. Now let's look at our inventory. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we repaired that to 100%. This is garbage now. This is fixed. This is garbage. This is garbage. This is better. That's awesome. Okay. And now that I kind of partially understand this, we can sell the junk parts. Uh, anything under 60%, let's say, is garbage here. And we've got usable parts in our inventory. Holy crap. Okay. Well, hey. It's already working out for us. I really like that. But this is done now. Hit this car status. Let's double check one more time. All green check marks. It's going to give us $5,000, guys. So now we're at $15,703. Did we get enough for another XP point? We did not. But that's okay. I'm going to play a little bit um, off camera. Uh, probably get us up to about 20 grand, 25, 25 grand probably, and then record another episode. It should be out before I do go back to work. In the event that it's not, I'll figure something out. So <laughs> that's kind of the, that's the plan right now, uh, basically is that there's not a solid one, but within the next 24 hours there be, will be a solid plan. And I want to thank you guys for sticking it out with me this far and uh, and all the pats on the back that I've gotten on social media. It's been really cool. It's also been really cool hanging out with you guys, and I sure appreciate it whenever you come hang out with me on the channel. If you like the video, remember to go down there and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Bison White Buffalo Gaming, and hey, I'll catch you in the next one.